Welcome back. Traffic cops are investigating a traffic accident that occurred on Sunday around 11 p.m. at Arawaki Drive, which claimed the life of a 21-year-old American tourist. Police say the male operator of a Polaris Utility Task Vehicle, or UTV, accompanied by a male front seat passenger, was making a reversing maneuver on Arawaki Drive in the vicinity of the container port when the UTV tilted, ejecting the passenger, who became unresponsive. Also from the weekend, police are investigating a fatal crash that claimed the life of an adult female around 4 a.m. on Saturday when the female driver of a white Nissan Bluebird traveling east along West Bay Street lost control and collided into the northern boundary wall alongside Western Esplanade. As a result, the driver succumbed to her injuries on scene while the female passenger sustained serious injuries and was taken to hospital for medical attention. The number of traffic deaths so far this year stands at 59. There were 51 traffic fatalities in 2023. That was down from 59 in 2022. Police informing the media of several arraignments that were set to take place in the magistrate's court today, in addition to two men set to be charged with the September 30th carjacking of a woman in the area of Love Beach, four police officers from the Royal Bahamas Police Force were set to appear before the judge for charges related to a sexual assault incident that took place on Saturday, October 5th in the East Street South area. One officer is charged with five counts of abetment to rape, another officer charged with two counts of rape, and two officers charged each with one count of rape. We'll have more details from that court proceeding in a later report. Police also investigating a sexual assault complaint reported by a 44-year-old female that occurred at a residence on Ambrister Street in the Fox Hill community on Sunday. Police say around 2 a.m. the victim was awoken by a male known to her who then uh, allegedly sexually assaulted her. Police say they have some significant leads and they are following these leads as they continue their investigation into this matter. Meanwhile, police on Grand Bahama are investigating the discovery of a 29-year-old male found unconscious on an unpaved road near Major Road in the area of, uh, well, it was in the area of Major Road and it was around 2 p.m. on Saturday. The man had visible injuries to his head. The male is currently in hospital listed in serious condition. The police investigations continue there as well. Six member team or a six member team from the Royal Bahamas Defense Force has been deployed to Haiti on a six month tour of duty. The team includes a woman officer for the first time on this kind of mission. According to authorities, the team's mission will focus on several key areas, including security, maritime patrols with uh, in the Haitian territorial waters, port security in securing strategic Haitian ports to facilitate humanitarian aid, promote economic development and bolster political stability, preventing illegal migration, human trafficking and unsafe sea journeys, disrupting narcotics and weapons trafficking all in an effort to restore Haiti's political stability. Between 1994 and 1996, 141 Defense Force officers participated in a United Nations peacekeeping operation to Haiti. And finally, Grand Bahamas' John Quell Jones is now a WNBA champion and MVP after she led the New York Liberty to a thrilling 67-62 overtime victory over the Minnesota Lynx in Game 5 of the WNBA Finals on Sunday night to win that series three games to two. John Quell carried the team, averaging 17.8 points per game, 7.6 rebounds per game, while shooting 56% from the field. Lots of Bahamians are expected, or well, they're excited, for John Quell to come home. And so they can celebrate with her, especially her peoples over there in Grand Bahama. And we've already heard John Quell talking about having a parade here once she gets home to celebrate the WNBA championship. And that'll do it for your JC and Evening News. Once again, I'm Jorino Saunders. It's been a pleasure to have you join us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.